Welcome to the studios of WCMU Public Television. And on this episode of Quiz Central, we continue our season with a first round game between Mount Pleasant and Saginaw Heritage. Coming up right after this. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvy Event Center. Let's get today's match underway. Here is your first question on Quiz Central. Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. Crimson. Yes, that answer is correct. Patella. Correct. Congratulations, Ludington. You are the Quiz Central Season 16 Grand Champions. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Ozanek, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 17th season of Quiz Central here on WCMU. And thank you so much for joining us. 16 teams are also joining us this year from schools throughout Central and Northern Michigan. And today, we'll be joined by the teams from Mount Pleasant and Saginaw Heritage. Now in Quiz Central, our two competing teams will be independently challenged with an identical set of questions. The school that answers the most questions correctly in the time allotted advances to the next round and perhaps will be crowned our Season 17 Grand Champions. At the end of the season, four Quiz Central seniors will receive a book scholarship provided by the CMU Bookstore. This week, the Red Division takes center stage, so without further ado, let's get today's match underway. Our first round is the Maroon and Gold Rush. Our teams will have two minutes to answer as many questions as they can. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. There's no deduction for incorrect answers. Students will be able to consult with their teammates on each question, but the final answers will be coming from the team's captains. Mount Pleasant, you're up first. So here comes your first question in today's Maroon and Gold Rush. What animal names the main tributary of the Great Salt Lake as well as a Great Lake in Canada and has a Kodiak population of its grizzly subspecies? Bear. Bears is correct. A helium nucleus is produced by what lowest energy type of radioactive decay that reduces an atom's atomic number by two? Alpha. Alpha decay is correct. What president who names a corollary to the, Mon to the Monroe Doctrine and who launched the Great White Fleet fought on San Juan Hill with Roosevelt. his Roosevelt. Roosevelt is correct. In 1857, what Frenchman published an acclaimed translation of stories by Edgar Allan Poe, as well as a book of his own poetry titled Le Fleur du Mal? Should we pass? Do you have an answer? Yeah. I, have I don't know. No? No answer? On to the next pass. question. What state function, whose change in a reversible process equals the heat flow divided by temperature, is a measure of randomness or disorder? Entropy. I have no idea. Sorry, what was that final answer? Entropy. Entropy is correct. What term refers to features of a box plot, as well as features of kittens enjoyed by the singer of My Favorite Things? Whisker? Uh, whiskers? Yeah. Whiskers is correct. Whisker, final answer. Whiskers is correct. Tade Pozhikchar's victory in a Tron time trial in Shanze helped him to into a 2021 repeat win in what sporting event that ends on the Champs Elysees in Paris? Uh, the Tour de France. Tour de France is correct. What ancient Greek historian wrote the history of the Peloponnesian War? Oh, oh. Oh, sorry, with that bell, we signifies the end of the round, so we weren't able to get an answer on that one. Mount Pleasant finishes up their first round with six correct answers and 60 points. Saginaw Heritage, it's now your turn in today's Maroon and Gold Rush. Here comes your first question. What animal names the main tributary of the Great Salt Lake, as well as a Great Lake in Canada, and has a Kodiak population of its grizzly subspecies? Uh, grizzly bear? Uh, bear is correct. On to the next question. A helium nucleus is produced by what lowest energy type of radioactive decay that reduces an atom's atomic number by two? Uh, beta decay. Beta decay is incorrect. On to the next question. What president, who names a corollary to the Monroe Doctrine and who launched the Great White Fleet, fought on San Juan Hill with his Rough Riders? 
Uh, Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt's correct. In 1857, what Frenchman published an acclaimed translation of stories by Edgar Allan Poe, as well as a book of his own poetry titled Le Fleur du Mal? Uh, Voltaire. Voltaire is incorrect. On to the next question. What state function, whose change in a reversible process equals the heat flow divided by temperature, is a measure of randomness or disorder? Uh, entropy. Entropy is correct. What term refers to features of a box plot, as well as features of kittens enjoyed by the singer of My Favorite Things? Uh, box and whiskers. Uh, so, I mean, can you have you clarify? Say it again. That answer. Box and whiskers. You know, you said whiskers. We can accept that. Whiskers is the answer we were looking for. Todd Day Pojachar's victory in a time in a time trial in Shanze helped him to a 2021 win in what sporting event that ends on the Champs Elysees in Paris? Uh, Tour de France. Tour de France is correct. What ancient, oh, sorry, with that bell, that's going to signify the end of the first round. Second on Heritage, great job. You were able to get five correct answers for a first round total of 50 points. Let's go ahead and go through those questions that we missed in that first round. And the 1857 Frenchman who published an acclaimed translation of Edgar Allan Poe's poems was Charles Baudelaire. Baudelaire was the one that we were looking for there. And that ancient Greek historian who wrote the history of the Peloponnesian War was Thucydides. Thucydides was that last one we were looking for. Our maroon and gold rush wraps up with a score of Mount Pleasant 60, Saginaw Heritage 50, it's still anyone's game. Now with one round in the books, let's take a moment now and meet our contestants from each of today's schools. We'll begin with our competitors from Mount Pleasant High School. Hello, my name is Jackson Pellis. Um, I'm on the Mount Pleasant High School Quiz Bowl team, and I'm also on the, um, the varsity soccer team, and I'm a sophomore. Hi, my name is Spencer Milton. Uh, I'm a sophomore here at Mount Pleasant High School. I've done Quiz Bowl for a year, and I'm a captain on the JV soccer team. Hello, uh, my name is Kevin Zimmer. I am a senior at Mount Pleasant High School, and I am on the cross country team. Hi, I'm Clara Bonnell. I go to Mount Pleasant High School. I'm a sophomore, and I love to do a lot of musical theater. Thank you, Mount Pleasant. Now, let's meet our next team in today's competition, the students from Saginaw Heritage. Take it away. Uh, hello, I am Ian Smiley. I attend Heritage High School, and I am the varsity goalkeeper for our soccer team. I am Landon Wagner. I go to Heritage High School, and I have three sisters. My name is Jason Huang. I go to Heritage High School, and I was born on Cinco de Mayo. All right. Hi, my name is Luke. I go to Heritage High School and my name has four letters in it. Well, now that we've had a chance to meet everyone, let's head into the next round of competition today, the Perfect 10. In the Perfect 10 round, our teams will be given a category and they'll have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as they can. Our Perfect 10 category for today is Information Technology Acronyms. Give the word represented by the first initial in these IT acronyms and initialisms. We're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock. Mount Pleasant, you're up first in today's Perfect 10. The L in LCD, a state of matter. Liquid. Liquid's correct. The R in RAM. Random. Random's correct. The L in LED. Is it like, I don't I think it would be, it? It be light. Final light? Answer? That's what I was guessing. Yeah, Final light. Final answer, light, light is correct. The I in IP as an IP address. Um, is it international? Um, it might be. Is that your, do, you have IP. do you have a final answer, Jackson? Uh, what do we think? I just guess probably international. International is incorrect. Right, international. The, international is incorrect. On to the next question. The V right. in VPN. Oh, sorry with that bell that signifies the end of the round. With three correct answers in today's perfect 10, Mount Pleasant now sits with 90 points. 
But now it's Saginaw Heritage's turn to add to their score in today's Perfect 10 round. The L in LCD, a state of matter. Uh, liquid. Liquid's correct. The R in RAM. Random. Random's correct. The L in LED. Uh, light. light. Light's correct. The I in IP, as an IP address. Internet. Internet's correct. The V in VPN. Uh, virtual. Virtual's correct. The U in USB. Uh, universal. Universal. Universal's correct. The P in PDF, a type of document file. Uh, photo. Photo. Photo's incorrect. The H in HDMI. Hi. Hi. Hi's correct. The L in LAN. Uh, local. Local. Local's correct. The S in SIM, as in SIM card. Simulation. Simulation is incorrect. Great job. Let's take a look at just those couple of ones that you missed. The P in PDF is personal, personal document file. And the S in SIM card is subscriber, subscriber identity module. Current score is Mount Pleasant 90, Saginaw Heritage 130, as we now head into our third round of the day, the home stretch round. I'll be asking each team a series of random questions. Team members will be able to consult with each other, but the final answers will be coming from our team's captains. Mount Pleasant, we'll start with you in today's home stretch round. Here comes your first question. What band, which was led by off feuding brothers Liam and Noel Gallagher, sang Maybe You're Gonna Be the One That Saves Me on their song Wonderwall? Guys, are we passing this? Jackson, unmute your mic. Yeah, I think pass. Pass. All right, on to the next question. A diagnosis of terminal cancer is hidden from what patriarch of the Pollitt family in Tennessee Williams' play Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? Pass. Um, brain cancer? Nope, sorry, it's incorrect. On to the next question. What amendment, the subject of Cats v. U.S., applies where there is a reasonable expectation of privacy and prohibits unreasonable search and seizure? The Fourth Amendment. Fourth Amendment, final answer? That's correct. Yes. What works for chorus and orchestra, such as Johann Sebastian Bach's Wacht Uf, take their name from the Italian for to sing? Corral. Corral. Sorry, final answer? Yeah. I'm Corral, sorry. final answer. Sorry, that's incorrect. On to the next question. What compound, which can be formed by reacting methanol with carbon monoxide or by oxidative fermentation of ethanol, is found in vinegar? I have no idea. Pass. Pass? Pass. Pass. On to the next question. What actress who played Gwen Stacy in Spider-Man 3 also played Claire Deering, the director of the title park in Jurassic World? Is it Emma Stone? That sounds right. Is that your final answer? Emma Stone, final answer. And that is incorrect. On to the next question. What literary form, which opened a renga, traditionally has a kigo or season word, was mastered by basho and has 17 syllables in a 575 pattern? A haiku. Haiku is correct. In 1838, what religion's members were targeted by an extermination order from Missouri Governor Lilburn Boggs, telling them to leave the state or die? Mormons. Mormons. Mormons is correct. In what state were activists registered voters during Freedom Summer in 1964 was Emmett, Kill, Emmett Till killed in the Delta and Medgar Evans shot in Jackson? I'm pretty sure it's Mississippi. Yep. Yeah. Mississippi, final answer? Mississippi, final answer. That's correct. Military officer Stanley sings the patter song, I am the very model of a modern major general in what Gilbert and Sullivan operetta? I don't know. Okay, no answer. On to the next question. What sea, which borders the Abshron Peninsula, receives the Earl and Volga Rivers? Oh, and with that bell, sorry, we're not going to be able to get to the rest of that question. Four correct answers means 40 points and a total score of 130 so far for Mount Pleasant. But now it's Saginaw Heritage's turn to add to their score. 
What band, which was led by oft-feuding brothers Liam and Noel Gallagher, sang Maybe You're Gonna Be the One That Saves Me on their song Wonderwall? Uh, the Beatles. That is incorrect. On to the next question. A diagnosis of terminal cancer is hidden from what patriarch of the Pollitt family in Tennessee Williams' play Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? Uh, what is Greece? Greece is incorrect. What amendment, the subject of Cats v. U.S., applies where there is a reasonable expectation of privacy, privacy and prohibits unreasonable search and seizure? Five. Five is, fifth is incorrect. Now the next question. What works for chorus and orchestra, such as Johann Sebastian Bach's Walk It Auf, take their name from the Italian for to sing? Uh, canta. Cantata is correct. On to the next question. What compound, which can be formed by reacting methanol with carbon monoxide or by oxidative fermentation of ethanol, is found in vinegar? Acetic acid. Acetic acid is correct. What actress, who played Gwen Stacy in Spider-Man 3, also played Claire Deering, the director of the title park in Jurassic World? Uh, Emma Stone. Emma Stone is incorrect. On to the next question. What literary form, which opened a renga, traditionally has a kigo, or season word, was mastered by basho, and has 17 syllables in a 575 pattern? Haiku. Haiku is correct. In 1838, what religion's members were targeted by an extermination order from Missouri Governor Lilliburn Boggs, telling them to leave the state or die? Uh, Mormons. Mormon is correct. In what state were activists registered voters during Freedom Summer in 1964 was Emmett Till killed in the Delta and Medgar Evers shot in Jackson? Mississippi. Mississippi is correct. Military officer Stanley sings the patter song, I am the very model of a modern major general in what Gilbert and Sullivan operetta? Uh, Ficolo. Uh, nope, incorrect. On to the next question. What, what sea, which borders the Absheron Peninsula, receives the Ural and Volga rivers and is east of Azerbaijan, west of Kazakhstan, and north of Iran? Uh, Caspian Sea. Caspian Sea is correct. Oh, and with that bell signifies the end of the home stretch round. Great job, Saginaw Heritage. You were able to get one, two, three, four, five, six correct answers on that one, which gives you a total after three rounds of 190 points. All right, Saginaw Heritage, let's go ahead and take a look at those questions that you missed during that round. The band led by the oft-feuding oft brothers who sang the song Wonderwall is Oasis, the one we were looking for there. Um, the patriarch of the Pollitt family and cat on a hot tin roof was Big Daddy. Uh, the amendment uh, that prohibits unreasonable search and seizure, not the fifth, but the fourth amendment is what we're looking for there. Uh, the actress who played the park director in Jurassic World, that was Bryce Dallas Howard. And that Gilbert and Sullivan song about I am the very model of a modern major general appeared in the Pirates of Penzance. With a score of Mount Pleasant 130 and Saginaw Heritage 190, we now head into the final countdown. In our final round, our teams will have two minutes to answer as many questions as they can. Each correct answer is still worth 10 points. There's no deduction for wrong answers. Our teams can consult on each question, but the final answers will be coming from the captains. Mount Pleasant, you're up first in today's final countdown. Let's put two minutes on the clock, and here comes your first question. What novel by Thomas Hardy depicts the life of Michael Henshard, who sells his own wife and daughter to another man before attaining the title office? Pass. Yeah, pass. Pass, on to the next question. What metallic element, which has a melting point of about 30 degrees Celsius, combines with arsenic to form a semiconducting compound? The guess. Uh, gallium. 
Gallium is correct. On to the next question. What landmark created on a site known as Six Grandfathers to the Lakota was designed by Gutzon Borglum and depicts the faces of four presidents? Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is correct. Gray dwarves are among the enemies in what 2021 survival game by Iron Gate Studio that is set in the Norse afterlife? I don't, I don't know. know. Game. Just... Final answer? Game of Thrones. Uh, nope, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. On to the next question. What rebellion, which Empress Dowager Shisi Support, supported starting in 1900 began Boxer as... Boxer Rebellion. The Boxer Rebellion is correct. What pale blue, <laughs> what pale blue gas, which has a chlorine-like odor that can be smelled during lightning storms, is an allotrope of oxygen with three atoms? Ozone. Ozone is correct. What German physicist's namesake, namesake constant equals the ratio of a photon's energy to its frequency and is denoted H? Plank. Plank is correct. What novel in which Boxer repeats the phrase, Napoleon is always right, is an allegory animal about farm. the Soviet... I heard Animal Farm, final answer, that is correct. Yes. French Dahomey was the colonial name of what narrow country east of Togo and west of Nigeria, whose capital is Porto Benin. Novo? Final answer? Benin. Benin is correct. Oh, and with that bell signals the end of the final countdown. Great job in that final countdown, Mount Pleasant High School. You only missed two in that one. Thank you, Mount Pleasant. Now, Saginaw Heritage, it's your turn to enter today's final countdown. Here comes your first question. What novel by Thomas Hardy depicts the life of Michael Henshard, who sells his own wife and daughter to another man before attaining the title office? <laughs> The Office. And the Office is incorrect. What metallic element, which has a melting point of about 30 degrees Celsius, combines with arsenic to form a semiconducting compound? Uh, gold. Gold is incorrect. What landmark, created on a site known as Six Grandfathers to the Lakota, was designed by Gutzon Borglum and depicts the faces of four presidents? Rushmore. Rushmore is correct. Grey dwarfs are among the enemies in what 2021 survival game by Iron Gate Studio that is set in the Norse afterlife? Uh, what is The Witcher? Uh, no, incorrect. On to the next question. What rebellion, which Empress Dowager Shishi supported starting in 1900, began as an effort by a society of fists to reduce Western influence in China? Uh, the Boxer Rebellion. Boxer Rebellion is correct. What pale blue gas, which has a chlorine-like odor that can be smelled during lightning storms, is an allotrope of oxygen with three atoms? Sulfur. Sulfur is incorrect. On to the next question. What German, what German physicist's namesake constant equals the ratio of a photon's energy to its frequency and is denoted H? Planck. Planck is correct. What novel in which Boxer repeats the phrase, Napoleon is always right, is an allegory about the Soviet Union written by George Orwell? Animal Farm. Animal Farm is correct. Oh, with that bell signifies the end of the final countdown. That two seconds sure goes by quick, but great job, Saginaw Heritage. You were able to get four correct answers for 40 points, which brings your total after four rounds of Quiz Central to 230 points. Let's go ahead and take a look at those questions that we missed during that round. That novel by Thomas Hardy that depicts the life of Michael Henshard was the mayor of Castor Bridge. Uh, the metallic element, when combined with form, the metallic element when combined with arsenic, forms a semiconducting compound. Not gold, but gallium is what we're looking for there. Uh, gray dwarfs are the enemies in the game Valheim. Um, let me see, the pale, blue the pale blue gas, which has a chlorine-like odor, we were looking for ozone.
After four rounds of competition, our final score is Saginaw Heritage 230 and Mount Pleasant 200. A real close game today, a great effort by Mount Pleasant High School, but they faced a tough team from Saginaw Heritage that was able to pull out a victory today. So congratulations Saginaw Heritage, you'll be advancing to our next round of competition. But we want to thank Mount Pleasant for a hard fought match. Seniors, good luck to you in the future and underclassmen, we hope to see you next season right here on Quiz Central. And we hope all of you will join us again in our next episode of QC as two more Michigan schools compete for the season 17 title. And as a reminder, all episodes of Quiz Central are archived online at WCMU.org. From the crew here at WCMU Public Television, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all right back here for the next episode of Quiz Central. Good night. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.